Oh, attic time. Okay. Are you shitting me? What the hell? No! No, I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is Horde Night 14, about ready to start. And we are here in our our little horde base that we used in uh, on 7 quite successfully. Uh, the main difference between last time and this time is that it's now upgraded to brick instead of the flagstone. Uh, so it's about twice as strong as it was before. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same setup. I just had to leave that light there. I know it's jank looking, but it does a good job of lighting the place up. I also put a light back here. This is a half roof. That's why that thing appears to be floating. All right, let's see how we do tonight, man. Let's see how we do tonight. I'm, I'm not too concerned, but then again, this is Undead Legacy, so I don't know what the, what the game's going to throw at us. Um, if we get cops and stuff, it'll be it'll be interesting. We'll say it will be interesting. Okay, so we're going to kind of use a combination of bleeds and conks to try and deal with these guys. When we get a bunch of them, we can use this too. We have to be careful with using this too much though because of the stamina drain. Alright. I don't have any um I don't have any like explosives or anything like that to deal with these guys so alright let's see if we can get a, a sweep here. Where is this? This should be on our toolbar. Okay, so let's make sure we keep everything repaired. That's going to be important. There we go. Oh, we got tagged. Okay. Um, how about if we take one of these? That'll help with our stamina. I don't have a ton of these, but... We'll take these guys out at the leg. Or, or at the face in the case of Edgar. Okay, he's just about dead. Yeah, he's down. Let's take Edgar's knees out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You still can't get through here either, can you, you bastard? <laughs> uh, let's get a bleed on him. Right. Edgar is going to die in a second here. There he goes. Okay. All right, how about a little archery here to get these crawler guys down here? Let's do some more kneecapping. Give me my arrows back. Okay. Okay, kneecap. Oh, we got slapped. We got slapped. Businessman is just continually stuck down there, isn't he? Uh, all right, let's check things. I've hit it a couple times, so i got to be careful about that. We want to get the outer and the inner. I guess we probably don't have high enough skill yet to do the sweep thing where it... Um, you know, it knocks down like a whole group of them. There, we, we finally got rid of that guy. I don't know that it matters a whole lot because he's just going to come back again. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Easy there, OG. Easy. All right, let's do a little archery here. What we don't want to have happen is... Have them glitch through, but that shouldn't happen. Well, you never know. I mean, it could, right? There we go. Oh, can we get that? Nope. Okay, we'll pick it up later. It's a little risky jumping up there like that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Crossbows and bows, level two. We only have 98 to go. <laughs> Eat that arrow, Jiggly. Oh, man, she moved. Okay, let's check repair. Oh, that one's just about done. Okay, the upper ones aren't too bad. Wow, we got smacked and he got smacked. Damn it! Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, let's just uh, archery for a bit because we're getting kind of thumped here. Yeah, that one Edgar's getting close there. Yeah, it's it's a bit risky using our our sledgehammer, even though it's the most effective weapon we have. It's just getting a little too close is all. All right, let's do a a repair. How are things looking over here? Oh, that needs a little attention. Okay. He's dead. Here, let's get some arrows back here. Why don't we uh, take another one of these, too, because our health is really low. In fact, I'm also going to take uh, this and this and one of these. What the hell? No, 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 what, what? So he must have glitched through. Whew. Okay. Okay. Let's wait for him to stand up so we can do a power attack like that. All right, yeah, so they can definitely glitch through here, which is not good. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen again for the rest of tonight. We'll see. Okay, yeah, Edgar dead. Let's get jiggly. Getting close. One conk and he's down. All right, cool. Oh shit! <laughs> Ronnie McDonnie. I guess the you know the good thing about this is we're getting we're getting archery skill. I just don't have very much right at the moment, so it takes a lot of arrows to kill these guys. Next time we do this, though, we're going to have iron arrows, so that, that'll help, too. We're using stone right now, so I just couldn't make enough on time in time. Okay, let's check repairs. Okay, everything else looking reasonably good. I don't give the the sledge enough credit for the reach that it has. You don't actually have to get as close as I have been getting. It just feels like I need to, you know. All right, let's take another one of these. Uh, we can't quite yet. Okay. Yeah, see, we can actually tag those guys pretty good without having to be 
right up there where they can tag us. Let's uh, take one of these to get some... There we go. All right. This is what we need to be doing because I'm most effective with the sledge. So when they jump up there, uh, we can also duck down to hit from this side. Except for he got away from us there. There we go. Okay. This is better. Yeah, I just didn't need to quite get as close as I was is all. Ronnie McDonnie. Nice. Okay, let's wait for some stam to come back. And off with your head. Look at that, man. We doing good. All right, let's take another one of these. And we'll take another one of these. To counter the thirst. Wait, what? Why wasn't it letting me drink that? I don't know. Okay. Got some food. And that, my friends, might be all she wrote for Horde Night 14. Okay. So, yeah, I could have... I could have definitely done this a little bit better if I would have just stayed back more, you know, with the, the sledge... But I figured it out, you know, and so we'll know we'll know a little bit better for next time. I'm gonna have to try and come up with some concrete for this. But other than that, you know, the time that those two Zeeks glitched through, this actually works reasonably well. And uh, they didn't really damage the door at, hardly at all. So let's see what this is. Oh, nice! Look at that, you guys. Uh, I want this. I want this. Yep, I'm taking it. It's going to be so much better than the, than the bone knife that we've been using. Okay, so let's just touch things up here. We got a little bit of a damage down... Oh, yeah, okay. How much brick do we have? We still have 82. Now... <coughs> Whether or not we'll be able to upgrade this further by Horde Knight 21 uh, remains to be seen. I'm going to need to get a hold of some concrete. We might be able to buy some from the trader. We'll, we'll see. That that just needs some uh, uh, scrap iron, which we can easily get. Oh, those took a little bit of damage, didn't they? Everything looks good up there. Okay, well, aside from getting a little bit of concrete, I think we'll be okay. We'll probably try this again on 21. Hopefully I'll be a little bit stronger and a little more effective with whatever weapons we have at that time. But like I said, if I would have managed the distance a little bit better with this sledgehammer and just waited for it to refresh, uh, we would have been we would have been even more effective. We were fine, though. I mean, we were alive. <laughs> That's the important thing, right? Uh, but anyway, okay. That is the end of Horde Night 14, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go back to the base. We're going to drop a couple things off, and we might as well go ahead and work on our next quest um, to finish out this episode. So we'll do it at night in the dark, which is not a good idea because the zombies have feral sense on. But we'll try it and see what happens. All right, I'd like to make this iron kniffy. Uh, we're going to need 15 iron plating for that, which means we need 15 ingots. So why don't we grab... Uh, okay, we have four plating already, so that's good. Let's grab this. Can we make... You need We need two per, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, we need two per. Okay, so we have four. We need... Another 11, so we need to make 22 more ingots. Or actually 21, because we have this one here. Do we have enough to do that? How many can we make? Only 13. Okay, I uh, I need to go get some more iron then, obviously. So, I think I'll do that. There isn't really anything else in here that we can use for iron, right? 
We could scrap that, but we're going to have to then turn around and make it again for something else later. So, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, all right, I'm going to run down to my little mine, which is right over there. And um, just mine up a little bit more iron. And also, man, our health is really bad, isn't it? Well, it'll start coming up because I put the Fortitude glasses back on, so our um, healing factor will kick in for that. So, yeah, okay. that That's kind of another good reason, though, why I should go mine for a little bit and let this come back up before we actually go attempt that quest. So I'll bring you guys back um, when we have enough to make the iron uh, kniffy. Let's go ahead, though, and get as many of these going as we can at the moment, which is seven. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got um, 75 iron ore. And how many ingots can we make out of that? 37. Okay, not bad. Uh, we also got a little bit of copper, a little bit of salt, Peter, which uh, uh, I guess that's potassium nitrate and lead ore. So we're going to put all this stuff in here. Most of that can go in there. Where were we? Uh, yeah, we were putting sand in here. Uh, this can go in here and be turned into sulfur powder, which we'll use for gunpowder. Uh, what does gunpowder require? Stone powder, stone, bone, coal. Where do we make gunpowder? Um, oh, well, typically we would make that in the chemistry bench, right? Um, let's see what it says. Gunpowder. Yeah, crafted in chemistry station. Okay. So, oh, really? Right. Okay, so we can't make that, like, in our own inventory or in here? Like, we... I guess not. Interesting. Okay. Something to keep in mind, huh? Uh, all right. Now, I would like to also... You know, we got this 43-minute abrasion business going on. Um, why don't we go to the trader soon, as soon as he opens. We're going to go sell all of this stuff and see if he's got a health bar that we can eat that'll cut that in, that time in half. And is there anything else I want to sell to the trader? We could repair some of this stuff and sell it too, I guess. But I don't really want to spend a lot of time messing around with that. Let's grab these brass knuckles. Uh, the pocket knife has 17. You know, the thing is, though, is we're going to need a bunch of the forged uh, plating to actually do this. And we're going to spend most of that on... Those ingots cook fast. That's awesome. All right, we're going to spend most of that here on this stuff because we need it for the uh, to make the iron knife. Yeah, it'll take 34 minutes. I like the bucket of ice or water. It's probably just water, but it looks cool. It looks so cool, man. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we're going to take all that stuff. Um, these need to stay in here, actually. Uh, let's grab this so we can get more gasoline while we're out and about. Um, I'm going to start keeping all forge stuff um, now that we have a smelter. Just trying to see if there's anything else I might want to sell. I don't want to sell any food. In fact, we need to eat too. So let's um let's nosh some lamb rations. And some canned dog food. And some soup sock. And some mineral water. Okay, so are you finished making making that? That's at 25, and now we should be able to... Uh, we need one duct tape and two leather also. One duct tape, two leather. There we go, all right. We are making ourselves an iron kniffy. Should be a little bit better, I would think, than the bone knife. I hope it's better. It better be better. It better. Better be better. 
Oh, wait. Do we still have 10 of those left over. Did I... I don't know what I did. <laughs> All right. Well, here. Let's do this then. That's going to cost just one to repair. And it brings the price up to 38. So let's repair these. Uh, we need to repair this too. That's going to cost two. Man, I love this repair station, you guys. It is just fab fabulous. What does this take? That's going to sell for uh, 77. All right. Long pipe. That requires pipe to repair. That brings the price on that up to 62. Okay. Not bad. Uh, what do these guys require for repairing? Brass knuckles. Scrap brass. Uh, we have that. This one's going to be worth the most. 74. Okay. 55. All right. And then, um, I mean, we don't really make a lot of money off of clothing, but we'll make some money off the cowboy hat. But let's just, of these three shirts, which one's the best? Oh, our BDU is, this one's one point better than our BDU, but... That's not really enough to shake a stick at, if you ask me, man. So let's just sell that stuff, too. And I think that's probably all we're going to do for now. Because, like I said, I don't, I don't want to spend more time messing with this. Okay, so we'll go sell this stuff to him. See if we can get a health bar. And then we'll go do this quest. Oh, he doesn't want Okay, so that got us up to twenty one ninety seven coin. I knew you didn't have money the um, moment I let's laid actually eyes on see you. what you do have. Okay. Nothing too phantasmagorical here. A lever action rifle. How much does that cost? It's it's up there a little bit. Iron gloves, yeah. Okay. Oh, was there something else? Don't be an asshole. Ah, shoot, he doesn't have a health uh, health bar. Darn it. All right. Let's go see what uh, Raiden has. Hi. Hi. Let me see your inventory. All right, bro. Um, You got an AK for seven, a blue AK for 7,000. An enforcer for 9,000. Couple pipe bombs, a double barrel. That's also the same price as an SMG for 39. A badger for 58. A pump shot for 1564. We could afford this. We could afford this. It's gonna give us eight in the magazine. And probably do quite a bit more damage than this. Uh I kind of think maybe we should do that yeah let's do it okay we got ourselves a pump shotgun ladies and gentlemen perfect perfect let's take the duck bill off of here we will put that on here there we go okay moving up in the world um hey do you want to buy this Nice. Oh, I forgot to sell these, too. Let's sell those to him. And then let's do a sort here by type. Very good. All right. Now, we've got 52 shells. He's got 140. How many can we... How many can we buy? Oh, actually, hold on. Not very many, actually. Wait. No. Go one, Go back to one. We can buy that many. I'm just going to do it. See you later. 77 shells. 
A plus eight in the chamber. Okay, good. That wasn't so bad. Um, let's see. Let's drop the pump shotty off. I think if we scrap those, we get one shotgun part. Woo, look at that. Got some airtime there. Ha, 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 that's rad. Hey, knock it off, Windows. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it brought up my Windows uh, start menu for a minute. I think I hit the Windows key. All right, let's see here. Uh, we're going to put this away. And we're going to, yeah, let's just scrap that. And we don't need to take uh, all this blacksmithing stuff with us either. And I think we're good to go. We don't probably need to take the night vision stuff with us either. Let's just put those in there for now. Yeah, we got the shotgun parts. Nice. So we'll put those in there. So we'll probably need those later on. Okay, so uh, let's have this. And let's have one of these. We're in pretty good shape otherwise uh, with water. You don't even go in there, man. So we're a little bit low-ish on food, but not terribly low. Let's put the money, uh, extra money goes back in here. All right, now I want, uh, you know what, the spear, screw the spear. It, it wasn't that useful. I mean, it wasn't a bad suggestion, whoever made that suggestion, but... Uh, yeah, let's not use it. Okay, so um, let's get our new Kniffy. And we are no longer going to use Bone Kniffs. I'll take the serrated out of that. And yeah, this is definitely better, even without the mod in it. Okay, we can't scrap Bone Kniffs. And I have two in here already, so let's just take these two and chuck them. Wait a minute, can I grind those up in here? Bone powder. Nope, it requires actual bones. Okay. Bones in fact. Didn't I pick two of those up? Wait, what? Where'd the other one go? Oh, it's down here again. <laughs> I was going to say. All right, let's go do this quest. This is a retrieve. Tier 2 retrieve. Oh, yeah. How about if we load our pistol? That's probably a good idea. What say you all? Let's put this down here. Um, we'll put that down there. We don't probably even need to take a shovel with us, but we will anyway. Now, um, like I said to you guys in the last episode, after we're done with this episode, I'm going to probably take a day or so and just mine like crazy so that I can make a big old bundle of like iron arrows and, you know, have... Uh, get a get a stockpile of iron and iron plating and all that stuff going. So that's the plan. Plus we'll get some XP in the process. Uh, so you want us to go around the back side there. All right. Now we also have three perk points. Look at that. All right. So the first perk point we're going to take is going to be... In, uh, where's the shotgun? Shotgun, boomstick. There we go. So that increases uh, our damage and fire rate and reload speed by 5%. Okay, that still gives us two perk points left over. Um, we already have sexy T, right? Yeah, we have sexy T. I'm just trying to see what other number one perks we want to get first before we start putting points into the attributes themselves. Lucky Looter wouldn't be bad. We don't have a rifle. We do have the pistol, so we could put a point into that. Uh, oh, Iron Gut. Yeah, let's do Iron Gut. That's going to help. Uh, intellect's going to unlock some submachine guns, better barter. Yeah, let's put a point into Intellect. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that gets us... So we have... One point in every attribute now, except for fortitude. I have an effective point in fortitude because of the, the glasses. So, you know, we'll just keep wearing those for now, but at some point I'm probably going to have to uh, or consider a different option. But for now it's working for us, so let's just keep doing that. Excellent. All right, let's do this.
Man, we got a real axe now. We got a real pick. We got a real shovel. We got a real shotgun. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about stuff, guys. Feeling pretty good about stuff. We'll have a, a better... We just about one-shot him. We'll have a better... Um... We'll have a better bow, is what I'm trying to say. The bow will work more effectively once we get iron arrows. That's what I'm actually trying to say. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Okay. Let's grab this medical thingy here. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, we'll put that to use. Okay, let's get rid of this. Oh, oh, yeah, we want to make that carpenter's axe, too. Absolutely want to make that carpenter's axe. That's, gonna, that's our next priority, as a matter of fact. Okay, so let's uh, close this door here. And open this up. Lab equipment box. Nice. That's pretty good stuff. I mentioned this before. It seems like UDL has a little bit better loot than vanilla does. And I, you know, I never actually put a point into Lucky Looter either. I will. I definitely will, but I just haven't uh, done it yet, right? Okay, so let's get some mineral waters. That was nice. I just love this mod, you guys. I really do. It is, I mentioned this before, but it's... It's my favorite. I think it is my favorite overhaul in this game. It's just really satisfying to play, I think. Just because of the way the looting works and the the skill system. And, you know, you got to have different crafting benches. And the stuff you need to make something else makes a little more sense. And, yeah, it's more it's more involved. It's a little more work. But it's also more satisfying, too. So, I just dig it. Kudos to uh, Subquake for making this mod. It's really good stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, can we get to this door? That closed. We have a washing machine or a dryer, rather, that we can loot. We've got another cowboy hat, which we will take to sell. Why do I get the feeling like we're going to run into a dog in this place? Uh, that's why? Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, what we're gonna do is this. And then this. Come here, Edgar. Sledgehammer skill has improved to level two. Very nice. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, I upgraded that. This is, oh, that's 5,000. Yeah, okay, we'll be cutting this one. <laughs> this axe is slow, man, but it does do more damage. Okay, let's use our shiny new iron knife. Ooh, I like the model on that. That looks good. Get some leather and some other goodies off this dude. Okay, let's get you ready. There's a safe in there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else up there. Let's grab this for the brick. Oh! Okay. There is something behind there. Look at that. All right. Give us some, uh, some of that goju stuff. Mega Crush. I'm sure we can't do anything with this, right? Yep. Nope. Let's get that working on that lock picking skill. Oh, all right. Let's go upstairs and see what's what. Get 
get some food. How much you want to bet there's a Zeke behind there? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Satchel is still upstairs even further. There's got to be a Zeke in there. Let's uh let's loot in here first before we go further. No charges on you. Couple charges on you. Guess that's it. We're in here. So what we're gonna do here is this. No, not that, this. No zombie in there, eh? Okay. That's because she's right here. <laughs> All right, let's get construction worker too. Right in the head. He's just about dead too. Okay. That, there could be more, but let's hope there isn't. Just looking to see if my... I can retrieve my arrows from there. Now we gotta go upstairs. All right, let's get this first. A little board and cloth action. I'm not gonna bother checking behind those pictures because I can't pick any locks anyways. All right, here we go, upstairs, baby. Saw him in there, maybe? And or in there? Okay. If there's one in there, we don't need to worry about them. Come down to Papa. Really? Come on, dummies. Where are you stuck at? have a running horde coming from outside. Okay, shh. Don't make any noise. Let's turn this off. Let's just see if we can get that. Alright, you know what we might need to do? They're going to break in downstairs, so we got to prevent them from getting up here. Oh, this axe is slow. I'll tell you what, man. The, the wandering hordes in this mod are just brutal. Had more trouble with those bastards than just about anything else. Oh, they're already in down below. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, that should break the path. Um, just to prevent them from 
jump. Well, yeah, we better go like that to prevent them from jumping. But hopefully, they don't even see this as a path to get up here anyway. All right, now, now we're stuck up here. <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, I wonder if we should here, you know what? I'm gonna take these out too. Let's just do it. Just be on the safe side. Yeah, help me take this block out, dude. There you go. do that and what do we got going on in here now stuff we got a charge there one of you guys suggested in the comments to try and take the cabinet out above the sink and see if that um, what hell? Oh, well, that took the faucet away, too. All right, well, I guess that's not gonna work. Uh, okay, so looks like we're going this way. I'm gonna get this back down here. Zombos? No zombos in here. Okay. Close that door. There's our satchel. Okay. We've come this far. We might as well get the fat loots. Besides, it's not safe to go downstairs right now anyway. In case you didn't notice. Okay, let's close that door. Dollar dollar bills. Zombo in. Yep, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll bet you there's a zombo in there. Ooh, we smacked each other. I definitely came out on the the better side of that one, though. <laughs> there's a cupboard here. Got some landmine action down there. Oh, attic time. Okay. Are you shitting me? What the hell? No! No, I don't want to die! I don't want to die! We've died enough! We've died enough! Holy shit! Oh! That was close! That was so close. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, let's see if we can deal with these assholes. Here, I'm gonna take uh, one of these. And let's also keep, no, 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 no. Let's keep this repaired because we can use it to our advantage. Okay, stamina. 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 Man, I thought we were a goner. <laughs> I am so tired of dying, man. I do not want to die anymore. It sets us back so badly, you know, with the XP loss and everything.
Okay, so it sounds like there's still another one around somewhere, but... Uh, I don't want that. Whew! Okay, let's keep that repaired so we can use it again if we need to. We got uh, one dude up there. I'm not, I'm not worried about one dude. Oh my goodness. That was a troll, man, if there ever was one. Stupid POI. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Okay, so let's um just nerd pull back up to here since we already blocked the stairs. And uh, we'll put that there. Grab those again. Okay, now, what is this? Hunter's Journal of uh, Bears. Yeah, we're going to use that, and we're going to take the book. Okay. So we can retreat back out here if we need to. Uh, but we already have a door there. Don't think there'd be a Zeke behind there. No. Okay, let's loot this. Zombos? Oh, shit. Okay. Same uh, plan. Got tagged there. Okay, don't I need to don't need to get so close, OG. Uh, what stamina? Okay. Ah, uh, not good. Woo wee, that was close. We got a crawler too. All right, let's take one of these again. <laughs> this is just intense. This is intense. We're gonna take a mineral water to counter the thirst effect, and while we're about it. Let's eat that. Is there anything else we can eat? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Really? <laughs> Are you dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> man, oh, man. All right. I hope that's all that's left. Oh, nope. That's not all. Oh, shit. Not all that's left. Almost all that's left. Okay. That should be all that's left. Let's hope so. Okay. Get that stuff there. Get this stuff here. All right. Let's see what we got for the fat loots. Nice. Shotgun shells. We'll take that. Uh, that is an upgraded helmet. What does this do? Level and missions skill. Uh, I kind of think I'd rather have research points. Got some honeycomb. Let's pick this up. Weapons bag. Uh, all right. Not the best thing in the world, but it'll, it'll work. Give us a good schematic game. Good schematics are those that we already know because we can turn them into research points. Yeah, baby. Likewise. And yeah, we'll take all that too. 
Okay. I'll pick up this col uh, this light. I was thinking... I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> K-light? The K-light? Pick up the K-light. Let's get the heck out of here, man. Um, here, we'll just go back out this way. These guys busted down the one of these doors anyway, so we should be able to walk right out the front. We're a little bit encumbered. Where's our bike at? It's over here. We gotta watch out for janitor guy. <coughs> Excuse me. We never looked in here. Oh, crap. Edgar! Go away. Okay, we got a shoddy messiah. Some bobby pins. Okay. Let's close this door in case he comes that way. Machine gunner, fully on Mac mode, has an increasing chance to ragdoll. Yeah, we're learning that. And we got a barbed wire mod. Uh, can we put that on here? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's see what's in here. Five, uh, 25 nails. Okay, I'm going to nerd pull up here. Whoops. Uh, nerd pull up here to see if there's anything else that we're missing. Nothing on that shelf and nothing on that shelf. All right, now let's go back to the trader. He managed to finally get in the house and now he's stuck in there. Sucks to be him. All right, a scrap shovel. We already have an iron shovel. So this is worth 47. This is 67. And this isn't as good as what we have yet either, or now either, but we'll take that and just turn around and sell it. All right, we have, uh, there's no more fetches. Darn it, there's a fetch and clear, but this is not a nighttime quest, but I think what happen what'll happen is we do it and then we get rushed. We could try this one, I suppose. Oh no, that's a long ways away. Screw that. We're not doing that. Um Yeah, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. Because I'm I'm not gonna do any more quests for the rest of today, anyways. Okay, anything we want to sell him before yeah, let's sell all of these. And we were gonna sell this. This is an upgrade, so we're gonna keep that. Oh, he doesn't want those because we already sold him some. Does he buy these? For 35 Yeah. No. Okay, we'll keep that for now. Anything else? Let's... Well, it's about time you bought something. Take this off of here. And where did it go? Here. Yeah, let's sell that. And we'll sell the green dye. You want that? Sure. He'll take it for five coin. We don't need it. Well, I mean, we could have scrapped it, but... Okay, I think that's all we want to sell to him right now. Right? He doesn't want that, so... Very good. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Okay, so what we're going to do is... um, Or what I'm going to do, rather, is I'm going to take... The rest of today and probably all of tomorrow, in-game days, off. And just do a whole bunch of mining to get a whole bunch of iron so we can make iron arrows and have have a good supply of iron for repairs and whatever else. And then um, I will bring you guys back after that. And we'll go on another adventure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.